Okay, so we just tried restore default settings. If that didn't work for you, one that often works is rebuild database. And this is because a lot of times the data on your PS4 hard drive becomes kind of corrupted and it gets out of place. And rebuilding the database is gonna fix a lot of those issues, especially those of you who maybe recently installed a system software update and then your PS4 is kind of performing poorly, it's lagging, or you're in the menus and it's moving really slow or your game's really laggy, you know something's wrong. A lot of times rebuilding the database uh, using safe mode is gonna solve that problem. Or if your PS4 is not starting, this might save you from having to do the full system uh, reinstall, which is gonna wipe all your files. So I'm gonna say this about rebuild database. The majority of the time, it's not gonna delete any data except if the data is corrupted. So again, don't get mad if you do rebuild database and one of your games is not installed because rebuilding the database sometimes removes some of that corrupted data to fix your PS4 to get it working again. But like I said, most of the time, nothing will be deleted. So I'm gonna go ahead and try this now to show you guys that nothing will be deleted on my PS4. In order to do that, you're gonna need your PS4 controller you're gonna need a USB cable that's compatible with the PS4. So go ahead and plug in your PS4 controller. And what you're gonna to need to do is you're gonna to need to put your PS4 into safe mode. And that's gonna give us some available options to try to fix your PS4 to get it working again. So in order to get your PS4 into safe mode, you're gonna to want to hold down the power button for about seven seconds until you hear two beeps. So here we go, one beep should hear a second beep soon and that's the second beep so if everything worked out correctly you should see on your screen where it says safe mode connect a dualshock 4 using usb cable and then press the ps button okay so at this point you're going to want to press the ps button and then it's going to take you to the next screen which is the safe mode menu now if you press the ps button and nothing happens you're going to have to find another usb cable that is compatible with your ps4 so it needs to support both charge and data so you can look around your house, see if you find one. So if you can't find one that works, I will leave a link down in the description below to a compatible USB cable that works if you need to pick that up. Okay, so go ahead and press the PS button and you're gonna see a list here. So it does say it may take a few hours. That's almost never the case unless there's something really wrong with your hard drive. So it should take maybe about 10 minutes or so. So I'll press okay. You should see this rebuilding database. Again, it doesn't take uh, too long. For you guys, it may take a few minutes. If it gets stuck, then that means there's something wrong with your hard drive and you will need to replace your hard drive. So just keep that in mind. Again, if rebuilding the database didn't work, it gets stuck somewhere at a certain percentage, 99%, 24%, then that means there's something wrong, there's something physically wrong with your hard drive and you're gonna need to replace it. Okay, so as you can see here, uh, a lot of times people are like, whoa, what happened to my menu? Where's my Street Fighter V? So it just may rearrange a few items such as mine. It moved Street Fighter V to the very end. It didn't delete anything, it's still there. Okay, if you look at my trophies, I still have my one trophy that I earned and it's for Street Fighter. And I should still have my Street Fighter 4 save game as you see here, nothing has changed. Some stuff may get moved around in the menu. That is totally normal when doing the rebuild database. 